Ghost, we are ready. Hallelujah. Grace and peace unto you one more time. I am your host, Dr. Bishop Shane Paisley. And you can find us and the Dr. Bishop Shane Paisley Broadcasting Network. We are broadcasting live here from the Greater Faith City Cathedral. And we are located at 1621 South 21st Avenue, Hollywood, Florida, 33020. With me this evening, praise God, is three beautiful women of God. And we are here to touch a powerful topic. But before we go there, I must pray and ask for the divine connection of God that this topic will be a blessing unto the lives of those who are watching and listening. We're going to dive into the topic, Women the What Lose. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the Lord has spoken to me, praise God, an emergency conference and entitled The Five Wise Women. Hallelujah. The Bible said there were ten virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. And it's going to be right here on Wednesday, the 20th, right up in this house. Five wise women will be preaching from the pulpit. Trim your lamp and have oil in your lamp. Praise God. Father, we just thank you, God, for the anointing. We thank you for the spirit of excellence. We thank you, God, for my wife. I thank you, God, that she will move even to a spirit of excellence greater in Jesus' name. Amen. Next person that you will have an interview with, praise God, is my wife. Praise God. I told her, praise God, to grow in grace that I could be able to develop her into understanding the dynamics of God. Because I want to say this to you, praise God, into the Christian world, praise the Lord Jesus. If you are not strong in God, praise Lord, the enemy will eat you, so you have to strengthen yourself. And I'm encouraging her to strengthen one day at a time. This evening we have three wonderful women of God, praise God. I want to start first on my extreme right, praise God, is evangelist, Kimberly Ayat, praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God. God bless you, Evangelist Kimberly Ayat. God bless you. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for having me. Praise God, and I recognize that you have you have you have that pushing the song that you should push. Hallelujah. The song Fear Thou Not. Praise God. You see, I'm 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 a tell truth. Hallelujah. If you begin to push this song, Fear Thou Not, the Lord will do wonders for you because there are many people that have fear, there are many people that are going through struggles, struggles and problems and needing divine deliverance. Hallelujah. But we want to talk to you this evening, and we are dealing with the topic woman, the word loose, and, and you are the woman president for this great ministry and, and, and there are many women that have been tied psychologically emotionally spiritually mentally what would you want to say to the women that are watching and listening at this time this is a um, good topic um, this evening the reason for that is because I am loose and I can truly say I thank God I love that she said I am loose can, can every woman be clear that <laughs> The reason I say so, Bishop, is because um, I know what it is like to be in something abusive, uh, such as a verbally abusive relationship. Um, not only that, um, coming into the ministry and being mentally abused, and I can thankfully say that I've overcome and I'm loose. So ladies out there, if you're in something abusive, some of you don't know it's verbally abused or physical abuse, sometimes it could be being spiritually abused, please seek God and ask him where to turn and you'll find your answer. Somebody give God a praise for her. And one of the, one of the words I want to, to want to pick out of her statement is overcome. Somebody say overcome. overcome. Say overcome. overcome. You see the key point you gotta overcome. Praise God. We have Pastor Martina Bryan. Praise God, the daughter of our lovely Bishop, Dr. Bishop Martin Peer. You will be having him sometime soon to hear talking about his journey. Praise God. She currently lived in Miami, Florida for the past 16 years. Pastor Brian has held many positions in churches from all over the world. She is a church builder. And, and I believe, praise God, that she is currently enrolled into 
various areas where she works in the medical field where she's fostering children where she's been a mother a friend and she's just working in miami i almost want to call her mother Teresa. <laughs> praise god welcome pastor brian praise the lord everybody praise the lord, praise the lord everybody praise, praise the lord amen bishop i am so blessed to be here and woman thou art loosed yes i amen. am loosed Come on. i am free amen 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 amen, amen. we got to know that we know that we know and that we have to stand on faith by being in bondage. It is verbal. It is physical. And you have to go down into your closet, in your war room. Do you have a war room? You have to go into that war room and we have to talk to the Lord. You know, because see, when we in bondage, that seed cannot go forth. And so in order for us to flourish, we have to identify what that issue is and call on it so that we can be delivered from it. My God, and I love what Pastor Martin has said. One of the things I've learned, I was in London, England, it's in 2003. And I went to ordain a pastor in the city of Nottingham. And they asked me, why would you walk around and ordain people? And But I told them, the Lord spoke unto his servant a word. He said, go and you see two cold tie. Loose them. Hallelujah. Loose them. And if any man asks you, why are you loosing them? Tell them the master has use for them. Amen. I'm here to tell you, women of God, men of God, the body of Christ, God has use for you. And God wants to use you. He wants to make you a vessel of honor. And you got to be prepared for this move of God in this hour. Praise God. So I want you at the summon of your voice with our audience that are here. Come on, stand audience and just shout, loose in the name of Jesus. I said, God, you are merciful and you're an awesome God. And I can the praise. But before we hear from our speaker, hallelujah, and our guest today that will do a marvelous work, praise God. Praise God. Move into the dimension of blessing your heart with the son that I love to my heart. And then we are going to hear from our beloved guest. It's my beautiful son that I love. Who know that everything you go through is all for the glory? Every pain that everything, you're suffering, every trauma, every drama, hallelujah. hallelujah. Nobody knows the price I had to pay.
She's now living in this beautiful nation of the United States for over 22 years. She's a woman of God that has been through the been through, but it's all for the glory. David said, it is good that I am afflicted. It has taught the precept of the Lord. Let the people hear your pastor. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I am truly blessed and truly happy to be here this evening. I'm telling you, this here is a deliverance ministry. And all of you who need deliverance, out there in radio line or wherever you might be, just come on. Look us up. Come on. Even if it's just for a visit, you might be surprised that Jesus will meet you at the door. Tonight we're talking about women thou art loose. Praise God. This is a wonderful topic for me because I've truly been loose 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I got cut loose, and if I can get cut loose, anybody could get cut loose. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Okay? You don't have to wait until you get clean up to accept Amen. the fact that you lose. He said, come as you are. Yes. Come as you are and allow God to do the work. He'll do a work in you. He's an on-time God. Yes. He Amen. may not come when you want him to. But the church, he's always oh, on time. Amen. When you least expect, you hear the call. Come. 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 Hey, all, the, all the who are labor and are heavy laden, come, come unto me. And I will. And I will hey. give you this. Hey. Well, my yoke is easy. Hey. Hey. And my burden is light. Hey. Hey. Come on. Jesus want to meet you today. Hey, come on. Yes. Come see a man. Hey, come Amen. see a man. Yes. The man that will set you free. Yes. And Amen. you too will be able to say, come on, I am loose. Amen. I am Jesus. Thank you. Amen. My God, my God, you'll hear more of her when she starts to preach. Hallelujah. I love the, the Lord is moving upon Pastor Campbell as she will press into come see a man. Somebody give her a praise there. Hallelujah. That's the woman of the well. Praise God. When the woman of the well, praise God, have experienced Jesus Christ, the woman of the well go and she called an entire neighbor who she said, Come over this side. Hallelujah. Somebody give her a praise. Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Yes, Father God. God, we thank you, God. We thank you for favor and grace and mercy, God. We thank you, oh God, for being here present in our home this evening, Jesus. Father God, the house of prayer, the house of deliverance. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, yes, I ask you, Holy Spirit, to hoover yes. over yeah, yeah. all lives, Jesus, all lives, because all lives matter, oh God. Yes. Hoover over them, Jesus, and yes. deliver them, Jesus, and help them too, oh God, to become loose Help them to be able to say, <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus, woman, thou art loose in the name of Jesus. We plead your blood, oh God, over our congregation, over our bishop, over our members, over his wife. Father God, help us, oh God, give us travel and grace, Jesus. Father God, from the north and the south and the east and the west, Jesus, we call on your name, Jesus, because your name alone, oh God, worthy to be praised. God, we praise you, oh God, because your word decree and declare that the prayer of the righteous man availed much. Father God, we give you thanks and we give you praise in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Before we go off, praise God. We want to hear from Pastor Brian. And one more thing, as I heard Pastor Campbell were praying, Pastor, I want to say, surely the presence of the Lord rests upon you in this hour. I, I was praying for Pastor Martina today and when I reached home and the Lord spoke to me he says let nobody <laughs> let nobody Jesus. let you miss this season <laughs> hey, did you hear me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. the Lord said let nothing that Amen. no one causes you Amen. to miss this season Hallelujah. this is the season yes. this is the hour yes. you are in the right place at the right time God has brought you into destiny. There is a shift to time. There is a lift to time. There is an elevation. And there is a price to pay. And you have paid a price. Don't miss this season. Look in that, look in that camera and talk to those women. Pastor. Hallelujah. I've been running for God for a long time. And I'm not tired yet. Thank you, Lord. I've been praying to the Lord for a long time. And I'm not tired yet. Thank you. We get weak, we get weary. Yes. But don't give up. Amen. Press. Press. Yes. Press. Yes. Press. Amen. See, people tell us that we're not worthy. Uh -uh. And they tell us that we're not good enough. Come on. 
Amen, Bishop. But see, we got to know that we know yes. that we know that Come who on. we are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, because see, many are called, but choose a too few are chosen. Yes. See, you know if you've been called or chosen by God. Yes. In spite of what it looks like, we have to go through it. As you see, sitting here, I'm a testimony. Yes. Amen. A living testimony in so many ways. So many ways. So I say to you out there, just know that God is yet still alive. He's not dead. He hears your cries. And Pastor, while we were talking, I heard the Lord tell you, the best is yet to come. Yes. The best is yet to come. God is about to work in your favor. Hallelujah. Just agree with me with Pastor Martina Bryan right now. I'm gonna believe the favor anointing. I command that there be no backlash, no retaliation. I come against every spirit that would have come against her anointing. Everything that you try to stop her in this hour, I release her. I declare mighty God that you will lift her up from Lodabar to the king's palace that you will show your favor upon her life as she step in this season in Jesus name somebody give God a praise come on and give him a praise come on and give him a praise give him a praise give him a praise hallelujah I like, I like evangelists I have to just look in that mic and speak in the life of those that have been bruised and broken those that have been hurt and, and let them know who God is to you Hallelujah. Jesus. Now this is the word from my song. And the first uh, verse, it says, When you're going through the waters and the raging seas and the billows are tossing and refuses to seize, turn your eyes upon Jesus. He will carry you through. He's the master of the tempest and he cares for you. Amen. And also in Isaiah chapter 41.10, it says, fear thou not, Hallelujah. for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Turn to God, seek him, fear not, and fret not thyself because of evildoers. Psalms 37 verse 1. Give God praise, pray to him, it might seem like it's not working out but let me tell you something god is an untimed god he doesn't work on your time in yes, my time. time he works on his time yes. so just give him all the praise even when you feel like you want to give up don't give up turn your eyes upon jesus amen, amen. before i pray I, I heard in the spiritual realm is this this particular scripture that the lord has placed in my spirit Isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass hallelujah that the burden shall be taken off thy shoulder somebody said burden are lifted at Calvary every burden every burden every burden every burden I hear the Lord say to tell somebody the burden is about to roll off your shoulder Somebody need to give God a praise right there. The yoke shaba. Begin to shake the neck. Said every yoke gotta loose my neck in the name of Jesus. Every yoke that Abba Shanda. You, you, you know what yoke does? Yoke holds you in restriction. And, and what yoke does? It it held you into a box. But God is saying that you are coming out. Hey shaba da ba sha. You are coming out alive. You are coming. is now being broken and then it says the yoke shall be destroyed say destroy the word destroy means to be done away with hallelujah the yoke that you see today you will see that yoke no more for God shall destroy that you say today say today 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 and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. What is the anointing? The anointing is Christ. He is the anointed one who came to seek 
weep and to say that which was lost. For this cause the Son of Man was manifest to destroy the works of the devil, every works of Beelzebub, every works of darkness, every works of witches, every works of demons that has held you hostage, every mouth that said you can't make it, every one that said that you can't do it, the devil is a liar. Christ who you. At the end of this brief interview, I want to tell somebody today, let no man despise you. Amen. Let no one tell you you can't do it. Know who you are and whose you are. Maximize your potential. Press into your progress. Move upward. Maximize your dream. Keep your dream alive. Knowing that God is your deliverer. Amen. And he has already broken every chain. Father, we just thank you. We touch and agree right now, God. For those that are watching. We believe, God, that the chains have already been broken. Yes. Oh, we thank you, God, that it has really been dismantled, that the yoke has been destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. Father, we thank you for Pastor Campbell, for Pastor Brian, Evangelist Hyatt, that you'll use these three women and in the cutting edge and the cutting edge to maximize their potential. I come against the spirit of jealousy, hatred, vengeance, variance. I come against the spirit of backlash and retaliation. And I cover them all in your blood. In Jesus' name, praise God, everybody. Hallelujah. And you can find us, praise God, and Dr. Bishop Shane Paisley, Broadcasting Network on YouTube. You will soon find us all over the world. And keep on praying for us because we are about to set up our own television network. Amen. That you can click that cable and you will be seeing us. The sky is the limit. Amen. Keep the dream alive. You are loose from bondage into great success in Jesus' name. Somebody give God a praise. Give him a praise. Jesus' name, amen. amen.